For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. We love Michigan. We traveled north to Manasing, Michigan, and camped at Bay Furnace Campground in the Hiawatha National Forest. In this video, we will share the campground, our pictured rock cruise, our hike at the Pictured Rock National Lakeshore, waterfalls, junkyard art, and our unexpected visitor. Good morning from Bay Furnace Campground in the Hiawatha National Forest in Michigan, Christmas, Michigan. We're leaving today, and uh, been a nice campground. No hookups, but the solar pretty much carried us through. We did run the generator for an hour yesterday just to top it off. We came, this was the only one available, but it was good because it's in the sun. And uh, it's just a short walk to Lake Superior. According to Wikipedia, Lake Superior is the largest of the Great Lakes. It is the world's largest freshwater lake by surface area. It's a beautiful sunny day here, so we thought we'd fly the drone a little bit this morning. The historical significance of Bay Furnace Campground is it has one of two of the last remaining blast furnaces. These furnaces were used to make iron in the 1800s. The arches of the stone were used for the fires. The heat rose to 2600 to 3000 degrees. At times repairs needed to be made and men lost their lives in the process. We saw folks waiting in Lake Superior and looking for slag, a byproduct of the iron making process. We were told that it is used to make jewelry. We highly recommend the Pictured Rock Cruise. We went out on a very windy day and still enjoyed the boat ride and the beautiful rocks. We visited Picture Rock National Lakeshore. It was located north of the campground. It was a beautiful park with pristine beaches and over a hundred miles of trails. This trail led to Chapel Rock and Chapel Beach. It is about 6.2 mile walk and was a moderate trail. We did get sidetracked once and ended up along a creek, but eventually made our way back to the main trail and got to the beach. So there are lots of steps on this trail. They're made up of all the roots from the trees. So Joe's heading down now. I'm going to go down next. It's 
It's very pretty though. There were lots of waterfalls in the area. These are a few of the sculptures that we saw at Lakeland Sculpture Park in Marquette, Michigan. The artist Tom Lakeland built the sculptures and has them displayed on site. They were impressive and very well done. Many of the sculptures expressed the artist's political views. The park is free and donations are accepted. We highly recommend this park if you're in the area. Well, finding the snake near our shoes outside the front door was very alarming. It turns out it was a ribbon snake and not harmful. Needless to say, my shoes come inside these days. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.